up, YouTubers? Hi, guys. It's me, Andrew Juponich, uh, coming at you today with another uh, Black and White Wolf Battle. This one's versus Amanu, my friend uh, Michael, aka Widow Twin Needle. He's a dog, and I'm leading off of my Hayden. I have no idea why I nicknamed the Relicanth Hayden, because fucking pro. So, basically, I want to start off with these Stealth Rocks, because he has uh, the little electric uh, ground-type fish-looking Dunsparce crap fucking... I don't know what that thing is. Just... Just ignore me. <laughs> um, he's gonna withdraw and go into Tang Earth, predicting my earthquake, which I did go for, because I'm not gonna predict the second turn in the game. But obviously, Michael does. So I know how he plays. It's extremely predictive. He wants to do everything his way. Okay. So he goes out, switches out as I went. He predicted the head smash that turn, but I went for the yawn, which is a move that I don't, which is a move that he didn't know I had. So. The Lucario has to switch out this next upcoming next turn, or he's gonna get put to sleep. So he goes back into Tang Growth. I did go for Earthquake again because, like I said, I want to get some damage down, and Earthquake would do a lot to Lucario. So he goes back into Tang Growth, and um, Tang Growth is just sitting there like a fucking monster. So I'm gonna go for the Yawn again, I believe. Yep, I do. And um, he's gonna go straight for the Giga Drain, and that's just gonna fucking wreck my Relicant. So I was like, damn it! Oh no! So, yeah, I thought he was going to, like, set up Leech Seed pre a switch or something, but... Nope, he, he, he goes straight for the Giga Drain, alright. Definitely, definitely. Michael, I love you. So, anyway, I go to my Meltdown. Oh, yeah, Meltdown. My Magmortar, which is just fucking awesome. Uh, so, he swaps out as I go for the Substitute, like I predicted, because, like I said, Michael, I know you. I lost so many times to this guy, it is not even funny. I finally beat him. So, I go with a Fire Blast. Boom! Burn the fuck out of that little, uh, stun fish. And, and that did a lot. That did a L-O-T a lot. So he breaks my sub with the Earth Power, and I'm like, okay. He's going to go for some move right here, and um, I have to see what he's going to do. So he goes for Protect, and I go for the Substitute, and I was like, oh, holy crap. Guys, you do not know how awesome that play just was. So I go for the Fire Blast. On the stunfish, he was like freaking out. He was like, Andrew, oh my god, fuck you. That's what <laughs> that's how he talks, but he's not, he's my friend, so it's legit. So he goes in Relic Anthony. At this point, he's like, okay, I'm gonna keep predicting your moves because all I want you to do is die a life orb. So I go for the T Bolt, but it's funny as hell because I do get a critical hit. So it's like lightning bolts came down from the sky and just kind of like critted him, critted that Tangroth in the vagina, in the B A G A I M A. So, <laughs> Moving along, he's gonna go over the protect right here. Just to, uh, I don't know, just to be gay or whatever. Predict. He wanted to see what move I was gonna go for. I go for the hidden power ice, and it actually happened to, to I had to switch the uh, hidden power back into ice because at first it wasn't. He messed me up or something, but it is now. Uh, hidden power, boom to the face on the relicanth, and we're gonna see how much damage this does. It doesn't do a lot, but it does a nice little chunk, you know. And then he's gonna have to switch out and go into his, um. Tang growth again as he predicts the Thunderbolt, which um, I did I did not go for. I go for the Fire Blast because I knew he was going to go back into Tang growth, and I was like, oh shit, yo dead. Yo, Tang growth is out of this battle, so you dead, dog. And I live with 1 HP after the Life Orb recoil, so he goes into me Sprint, Mass Sprint, and I go for the Fire Blast, boom, on that bitch, and I'm like, yeah, burn, motherfucker. So... He goes all the way down to like negative three, and then I was just like, oh, time to die. And it's too weak to make a sub, so I was just like shitting all over him right now. So I'm going to go into my blue vault. Um, I will be able to outspeed it. I go for thunder, predicting the switch back into Relicanth. Maybe he predicted the bug bus. I have no idea, but uh, yeah, that thunder was not missing. So, oh, and by the way, thunder has a 91% chance of hitting with the compound eyes. So he goes for exchange speed, thinking it would kill, but it doesn't. It doesn't kill because I have 39 left. Boom from the sky, go for the thunder, and that is just gonna wreck that Lucario. Poor Lucario gets wrecked. That thing just got like shocked by like lightning from everywhere. Everywhere, it's just like bam, you got struck by lightning. So he goes into relicate. I'm like, sweet, I can finally use the move Energy Ball on this Blue Bolt, which I've never actually used before. And Energy Ball is pretty legit. So, I believe that was his last Pokemon. Oh, wait, it's not. I go into my Ice Age and my Mammoth Swine because I love to end every single battle with my Mammoth Swine. I'm going to go for the Icicle Sphere. Icicle Sphere, boom, because I know how much you guys love watching me 
Use Icicle Spear. It's so win. So I get three, and then that, that Togekiss is just... No, you're gone. You're gone. To Togekiss, I'm sorry, but you're gone. And I defeated uh, Weedle Twin Needle. So good game, Michael. Uh, you're a beast. Definitely thumbs up this video. Like it if you can. Comment below and subscribe to Drew Ponage. Peace, guys.